Throughout the day and night, you'll be able to drive through downtown Sheboygan and see volunteers tending to the kettle, ringing the bell, and taking donations. They even have a man inside the kettle. Merry Christmas! Radiating the Christmas spirit. And he hasn't left that kettle since Saturday. Merry Christmas. I mean, it's one thing to be by, by the kettle ringing the bell, but whenever you're living in the kettle, I mean, you see things from a whole different perspective up here. He's calling it the 10K Red Kettle Stay. That means he's staying in there until the Salvation Army raises $10,000. It could be today. It could be five days from now. It could be 10 days from now. But it'll be... I have faith that it'll, it'll, it'll come through. Sheboygan's a giving community, so. It's an effort that has even Santa impressed. He's, he's one of the thousands of the people in the community, and you know he's willing to, to come out here. He don't have to be out here. He's doing it for everyone else. His living situation consists of a heat lamp, a radio playing Christmas music 24-7, and lots of blankets. He also has the option to go underneath, and people in town have been supporting him. People who I didn't even know brought me space heaters. People I didn't know brought me a sandwich for lunch, a cup of hot chocolate. Um, people who I haven't even seen in Sheboygan before are bringing money to the Red Kettle. But as long as some people in the community are living outside, it is I'll the least he says he can kettle. do to help them. Because when I leave this kettle, I'm going home to a warm house and a wife and three kids and, and a family that's, that's loving and cares for me. But there's some folks out there that are living in the woods, that are living in their car. to consider the weather five years ago, seven years ago, ten years ago. You hear every summer about the droughts, but you don't think about that come Christmas time when you're buying a Christmas tree. These guys got to pay for their water. Uh -huh.